寝ているのかしら誰にしますか自由に選んでちょうだい選んでちょうだい選んでちょうだい
もうへばっちゃったのもう、じらさないで。there
Cinepride 66, okay. <coughs> Cinepride 66, I'm gonna send you a friend invite. I'm the only one that's popped up here. Well, it looks like I don't have much luck when it comes to the multiplayer, so go ahead and hop on single player, see what I can do with that. You guys ready for this? May try to hop on co-op later on, but right now I'm just going to do story mode.
な子猫ちゃんたちちょっとヤバめのハプニングだ大会とは関係ないが協力してくれると助かるぜみんなで協力してファイヤーを消火しちゃってくれただし消すのはあくまで会場の火だ心で燃え上がるラブファイヤーは鎮火しちゃダメだぞ何言ってるんだかわかんないけど火を消さなきゃヤバいのは間違いないね行こうみのりちん好きちゃんごめんねみのりちん隠し事のことなら後でちゃんと話すから今はマジで消火活動だようん
ミスター・ケイさん火を放つというのはやりすぎではありませんかいや私はやっていない私はねでもやりすぎくらいが気持ちいいそれが BBS イエスでもね詳しい話をするのはもう少し待ってくれないとねまだ、あ、私的に覚悟ができてなくて分かったしきちゃんがそう言うならもう何も聞かないよあとこれ返すねそっかこの手紙を拾ったから気づいちゃったんだねうん封は開けてないけど送り主の名前は書いてあったからみんなに黙ってくれててありがとうそんなお礼はいらないよみのりはとどめ<笑>ほらほら指名っぽくならないのね今は試合を楽しんで勝とうよ負けたらそこで一緒に戦えるのは最後になるかもだし指揮長最高じゃんアーソムソースガイズ Out freaking standing to finish that mission. This is gonna be fun, dudes. I'm loving this game. I just got it a few days ago. It's freaking awesome. Sinren Kagura Estival Versus is a whole lot better. I mean, you actually get to fight with actual weapons. I mean, water guns, yeah, they're fun and all. You get to see nudity and shit, but I mean, you can only do this so much to the point where you're just like, I mean, come on now. Seriously? <laughs> Hello, big boob Yumi. That's what I'm talking about. Ho、oh, ho, sexy, sexy lady. Get her done, boys and gals.
Okay, seems like the only cards I can really upgrade are level 4s. Let's see... Uh... Yeah, I have to admit this shit's a whole lot of fucking fun, but... Ah, uh, I miss Sinrei Kagura, the Estivial Versus, I actually do combos and shit, and some water gun attacks and crap, but I mean, they're awesome and all, because you get to see a whole bunch of panties and crap, but I mean, the Estival one, I wish I could get that nude mod fixed up so I can actually see them when I blow away all their fucking clothing, it's awesome. Sexy as hell, too. <coughs> if only there was real girls in the world just like these guys, girls, and oh man, dude, I'd stop at nothing to get with their asses. I mean, shit. Oh, hot as hell. I mean, yeah, I'm a little old and shit, but I mean, fuck. 18, 19 year olds and actually looking like this bitch, these girls, oh, oh, so, so hot. Oh, so sexy. I was stopping nothing to get with them. Nothing. But then again, this is the real world, so. Don't have too many choices in women, which is redonkulous, you know. Sometimes I just wish we could actually get women just like these girls right here. Be awesome. But then again, most of the girls around my age, man, they already got kids, they got fucking... They're married and all this other crap, and I'm just like, come on now. Seriously? Let me get some of that shit. Just a little bit. <laughs> but now. I ended up drawing the short straw. Which sucks in, a, in and of itself. But. It's whatever's, man. Whatever's, man. If only I had a better job where I made more fucking money, dude. I'd be. Tossing out cash and bitches left and right, be like, hey, one, one, two, just get with me, you know, you know. Let's, let's spend the night, you know. Just, just, just a little, just night. It'll be all right. <laughs> I make sure I got a whole shit ton of condoms left over, you know. <laughs> just in case something comes up, shall we say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a major perv, but I don't fucking care. Find women like this, especially in this anime games like this. If I found a woman like that, man, I'd be on top of that shit like fucking. Wow, that's the best way to say it. Bears on honey. Bears on honey. Yeah, there you go. That'd be awesome. But then again, all these girls are make-believe, da, da 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 you can't really find chicks like this in the world, ever, which sucks balls, straight up. Even in the Americas, with all these Japanese stuff going on, man, these guys like these Japanese chicks, you know. They like messing around with these Japanese chicks, but I mean... They don't got the, they don't got the hourglass body like what some of these girls do, especially on this anime game. I mean, shit. <laughs> We're talking hardcore crap, man.
Find me a girl just like these girls in this Sinra Kagura man. Dude, I wouldn't have to play this game ever again, especially if they're the freaky types. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah baby. I wouldn't give a shit if they're 18, 19 year olds old, man. Find a girl exactly like this, man, you don't want to let go of them bitches. You want to hold on, hold on real fucking tight. Make sure you put a ring on that motherfucker. Because they, they're the ones that are going to make you happy for the rest of your life. If they ain't no, those fucking stubborn ass bitches that be looking like this but want some rich dudes and dudes to take care of them for the rest of their fucking lives that be able to pay all their damn bills. I'm just like, come on now. That's not possible in this world. In this day and age, especially in the economy we have up here in the U.S. of A. I mean, shit, that is not possible. The only fucking dudes you'd be able to find like that is some really extremely old ass motherfuckers that are frickin' doctors and shit. I mean, come on now. Let the common folk get some. I mean, come on now, girls, shit. Let the common dudes get some. Guarantee I'll show you some good ass times. Better than one of the old ass fuckers that are doctors and crap. Man, most of these dudes, they be looking dorky as shit, just like my ass, but they be having some hot ass bitches. Hot ass fucking bitches that they, uh, they got that ring on, you know? But they would have met them back in fucking high school and college and shit, and I can't afford that crap, man. And I, I, I dropped out of fucking high school around sophomore year, unfortunately, but I was up in South Carolina. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't live that, couldn't, couldn't get the whole setup ready. And it's the girl that you love, the girl that you want. Girl, you spend so much time with. I mean, most of these dudes would be marrying their fucking friends they've been friends with since they were kids and shit. And I'm just like, I don't have that privilege now, man. I don't got that privilege at all. I moved from freaking Norfolk, Virginia, all the way down to South Carolina. And lost contact with all them girls that I was freaking hot for, and they were hot for me and shit. And that was just ridiculous. They're probably all married with kids and husbands and all this other bullshit. Really? <laughs> 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 ネバーマインド。話してください。何もかも。ゆ。ゆみちん。隠し事をするなとは言いません。ですが、それで指揮さんが苦しんでいるのなら、私たちに悩みを分けてください。悩みを分ける。<笑> 
そうです悲しいことも嬉しいこともみんなで黒影おじい様を亡くしてから私たちはずっとそうやってきたではないですか黒影様うん分かったよ次の試合が終わったらちゃんと話すね Then, of course, you got these young ass bitches. I mean, they fine as hell, but young as hell. And they already got fucking kids on the way, and it's all this other crap. And I'm just like, seriously? Why you be doing that shit to yourself? I mean, especially here in Georgia. <laughs> it's redonkulous. But then again, Georgia pays your ass to have fucking kids. And that's, that's not the way to go, you know? It's not the way to go at all. Because it's going to affect our economy, going to affect the way the earth is going to go. I mean, yeah, I'm a bit of a tree hugger. I mean, less kids is better for this world. But I mean, I'd be where I'm working at, I'd be finding motherfuckers with close to six, seven kids. All like a year apart. I'd be like, dude, do you know what child control is? I mean, I mean not, not child control, but, uh, Child preventative measures, I mean, birth control, yeah, there we go. Birth control is, I mean, fuck. You got six, seven motherfucking kids, you shopping at Walmart. I mean, you, you gotta get fucking message through one way or the other. Be like, hey, man, I, got, I gotta stop having all these fucking kids. But then again, Georgia government wants to pay my ass to have fucking kids. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm she can't have no kids no more. I'm just like, dude, you're just fucking with our taxes. You're fucking with our income. <laughs> What you need to do is have control of the damn kids. So like, sort of like what、uh, Japan actually does right now. I mean, you only have one fucking kid. You're only allowed to have one kid. One kid, and you're done. We had a law like that over here in the US of A. Man, that'd be fucking ballin' awesome. Because once you had that one kid, you do the whole, yeah, the government pays me to have the kids, such and such, so and so. But, I mean. <laughs> After that, you'd be like, well, I can't have no more kids. So, I mean, birth control. I mean, birth control is cheap as shit, man. Especially for dudes. I got like packs of condoms for like, like three, four freaking condoms for like three, four fucking bucks. I mean, birth control is cheap as shit. I mean, come on now. <laughs> And even if you don't want to be wearing those goddamn condoms, I mean, dudes can get vasectomies for like twenty, forty bucks. And all you gotta do is jack off like three times and you're fucking. Life before you fuck around with your chick and be like, Whoa, well, oh, sorry, can't have no more kids because I don't got no damn semen that's got any damn eggs that can, fer not, any semen that can fucking fertilize your damn eggs. Oh well, oh well, fuck it. <laughs> But if we had a law just like in Japan where you can only have one to two kids, dude, the economy would. Skyrocket in this motherfucker in the US of A. Especially in the South. But no, these fuckers want to have six, seven, fucking eight, nine, twelve fucking kids in their family. With just one couple. I mean, come on now. Don't you have brothers and sisters that can take over the rest of that shit? I mean, I got a. I got. I got three siblings. I'm the eldest of three siblings. My youngest brother, who's like fucking 20, 27 now. Actually, no, no, no. He's、uh, 24 now. He has a niece. He, he has a daughter. And I'm just like, okay. Our, our, our family tree is going to continue on. I got a sister who's five years younger than me. She's still working on trying to get married to this dude up in New York and shit. And I'm just like, well, you have one or two kids. I mean, we're good to go. Especially if one was male. 
I mean, come on now. Me? I ain't gonna have no fucking kids. Hell no. Fuck no. Dude. <laughs> you have to twist my arm, twist my leg, twist every single piece of my fucking limbs to get the goddamn kid. Make a kid was any chick up in this bitch. Hell, I fucking go gay just to make sure no fucking damn babies with my fur, my 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 jeans come out. Just so I can get laid and shit. I mean, nowadays, I mean. All these people having like four or five, six fucking kids, and they 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 rely on the damn government to pay for their asses to have these fucking kids. I'm just like, seriously, dude. If he can't afford to have no damn kids, that many fucking kids, with the job you have right now, then you don't need that many fucking kids. Government, yeah, they'll help you out, but I mean, shit. You're fucking over the rest of us, hard-working individuals. Hard-working individuals that actually work for our fucking paychecks and shit. <laughs> because we gotta pay more and more taxes because your ass wants to have more and more kids. Just because. The government's gonna pay your ass to fucking have kids. I mean, come on now. Is this the baby boomer age? I mean... Last time I checked, baby boomer age ended about close to a hundred fucking years ago. We don't need that many fucking kids running around this fucking shithole. Especially now that we don't got no damn extreme wars going on. Or we have lots of people losing their lives and shit. I mean, come on now. It's not like World War 3 is activated and shit. We don't need no damn baby boomer age here. Especially in this day and age. What we need is less fucking kids. Less fucking kids is better for all the other working class people. But no, these fucking people want to be ignorant as shit. Trying to have as many children as fucking possible just because they want to continue with their line. I mean, dude, come on now. Get yourself a boy, get yourself a girl. Alright, there you go. Your line's fucking continued. Ain't shit else you need to do. You don't need fucking 12 goddamn kids. That's just ridiculous. Well, if I have like 12 kids, well, the government's gonna pay for me to take care of them. I'm like, who gives a shit, man? government's gonna pay for your ass to take care of them. Well, guess what? If you think about it, the rest of our asses are gonna be fucking paying all the taxes just so you can take care of your fucking kids. these fucking people know that sex is free most of the time most of the time sex is free condoms are cheap I mean come on now condoms are cheap as fuck where are the motherfuckers <laughs> yeah you get your rocks off yeah your girl gets your rocks off well guess what you don't have to worry about no fucking kids but no no you got this fucking religious 
government going on, going like, well, if you have sex, you're going to have to not have contraceptives or all this other crap. I mean, bull fucking shit, dude. I guarantee you, when Jesus or God decided to do the Ten Commandments, he didn't ever think about ahead about the fact that overpopulation is going to fuck up our damn world. Just because people can't wear contraceptives because it's against the rules of religion and shit. Boop. <laughs> International Shinobi School. Nakami, you I mean, hell, in some fucking states, condoms are fucking free. I mean, come on now. Go up to one of those fucking free clinics or some shit like that. I mean, condoms, condoms are fucking free, dude. Who gives a shit if you're married to the chick? You have a couple kids already in your family. You don't need no more fucking kids. Plain and fucking simple. One girl, one boy. You're done. That's it. You don't need to continue fucking around and getting more and more kids so we we working citizens actually have to pay more and more taxes because your bitch ass doesn't want to actually pay for the shit yourself and don't want to actually plan ahead because of the fact. Because, oh, it's okay. The government's going to pay for my fucking kids to be raised and such and such and pay for my kids to actually get food and water and all this other crap. I mean, come on now. We're the only fucking country that does that bullshit. You go anywhere else, they don't do that crap. Guess what? You have more than enough more kids than you can handle. Guess what? You're either going to have to put them up for adoption or get several jobs back to fucking back in order to pay for them because the government sure as fuck ain't going to pay for you to have no damn kids. Simple as that. Simple as that. And on top of that, I mean, when I was growing up, being a kid when I was growing up, my parents could discipline the fuck out of my ass, no matter what it was. They could hit me, they could smack me around, they could do whatever the fuck they want. Now you gotta ask for, for fucking permission, or you get locked up. I mean, this is bullshit. Where I work, I'd be having like dozens and dozens of fucking kids there. Fucking hellions within the store. And I'd just be like, Man, if they were my fucking kids, I'd beat the fuck out of their ass for embarrassing me. Plain and fucking simple. Not, oh, shh, 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 be quiet, be quiet, shh, shh, shh. stop, stop, oh, shh, shh. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. Dude, I would smack the fuck out of that goddamn kid. Be like, shut the fuck up or else you're going to get another one. But no, you can't do that shit no more. Be like, you do that shit out in public? Oh, guess what? Your ass is going to get locked the fuck up. Only in the fucking U.S. of fucking A. Does that shit happen? Nowhere else. Nowhere fucking else does that shit happen. That is ridiculous.
I mean, yeah, guess what? I love sex, same as the next dude. But guess what? I wear fucking condoms. Make sure the bitch don't get pregnant. Plain and fucking simple, man. Plain and fucking simple. But no, this day and age, a lot of dudes be going up to the fucking cashier, cash register. They be embarrassed as fuck that, about the fact that they're buying condoms. Guess what, man? I'm never fucking embarrassed when I, I walk straight up from that bitch like I own the motherfucker. Be like, guess what? I'm getting me some condoms. What of it? I ain't gonna have no damn kids. Fuck that. This world can't handle that shit no more. And all these dudes that be fucking around on their wives, fucking around on their wives. Come on now. Your wife is the hottest fucking bitch I've ever fucking seen. Ever seen. And you want to fuck around with her? You a dumb ass motherfucker. Plain and fucking simple. You don't like the way she look? You don't like anything like that, man? Divorces don't cost that much to pay upon what the situation is. Really don't. It really don't. And I mean... I'm not trying to down on some of these chicks, but I mean, some of these girls, especially those that be married to some dudes, sometimes, some of these chicks make more money than their fucking husband. <laughs> I mean, come on now. You fuck around with a girl like that and she make more money than you? Guess what? You ain't walking away with shit. Not a goddamn thing. Because she can afford that really expensive fucking lawyer. You cannot. And I mean, all power to the women that have make more money. I mean, oh yeah, go feminism. I mean, you make more money than me. Guess what? You're going to be my best fucking friend. You're going to be my best lover for the rest of my goddamn life. Plain and simple. I ain't never gonna fuck around with you just because a chick looks a little hotter than you. Oh fucking well. Guess what? Money is power. Money is privilege in this day and age. That girl makes more money. Your wife makes more money than you. Guess what? Oh well. Who gives a shit? Suck up your goddamn manhood. And be like, oh okay, that's alright. My girl makes more money than me. Guess what? I'm living a good life now because she makes more money than me. Oh well. And some of these guys, their ego. Oh my god, their fucking ego gets in the way so easily. It's just like, seriously, dude. Your wife makes more money than you, and you want to fuck around with her? Really? Well, it's, 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 it's downsizing my manhood. Dude, fuck that shit. She makes more money than you. Guess what? If my wife made more money than me, guess what? I wouldn't work a day in my life. Yeah, I'd probably occasionally work just for the hell of it because I'd be bored as fuck if I wasn't working non-fucking-stop. But some of these women, if they make more money than me, oh, man, and they're my wife? Dude. I would not fuck around just because some hot secretary or some hot ass decides to come up to me and start rubbing up and be like, hey, yeah, yeah, you, most of you, most of you red, red blooded men would be like, oh yeah, I'll tear this shit up. But I mean, you think about it, your wife makes more money than you. 
Your wife makes more money than you. And you're sitting there like tearing up the ass of this cheap bitch who just wants to fuck around just for a little while. <laughs> and you're just and she don't make as much money as your wife. Man, where's the fucking common sense in that shit? If my wife made more money than me, dude, I wouldn't give a shit if that woman was fucking Beyonce or or fucking Angelina Jolie. She made more money than any of those girls? Dude, I wouldn't think twice about fucking around with her. Plain and fucking simple. Because I would know in my mind that woman if she wanted a divorce and she caught me fucking around guess what she'd be getting more she'd make she'd get she'd make more doing that divorcing me than I would divorcing her ass I mean come on common fucking sense dudes really Put your damn manhood and all your egotistical bullshit in the goddamn closet and keep it in that bitch. Or put it in the goddamn bottle, bottle and keep it in that bitch. Be like, alright, alright, whatever. Your wife makes more money than you? Guess what? Don't even think about fucking around with her. Because you are going to lose more than you are going to make just messing around with some hot ass sh Hot ass some hot ass that you randomly pick up at either grocery store, bar, or strip club. I mean, come on. Common fucking sense, dudes. I mean, if my wife or my girlfriend made more money than me, guess what? She would be the only, only fucking woman I ever want to mess around with. Ever. I don't give a shit if she don't give me no ass, don't give me no fucking pussy. I mean, she makes tons more money than my ass. And guess what? I ain't doing nothing to fuck around with her ass. Not a damn thing. Because I got more common sense than a lot of these red-blooded, egotistical motherfucking dudes. That's just my fucking two cents. But then again, it's more common sense than a lot of these dudes carry around with them. I mean, plain and simple, dudes. I mean, seriously. My wife made more money than me. My girlfriend made more money than me. And I ended up finding some really hot ass fucking chick that wanted to just give it to me. No matter what the consequences. And she didn't make more money than me. <laughs> Dude. I'd be like, fuck that. 
I'd hop on a porn site. Cheaper. It'd be a whole hell of a lot cheaper than fucking around with some girl. Either I got get a freaking uh, blow up doll. If my wife didn't give me shit, give me a, give me a, buy me a fucking blow up doll and get my shit from that Mom. or fucking Pamela, Pamela, as you, as a lot of guys in my generation car, Pamela would give me as much love as I fucking want, dude. <laughs> If I got a wife who makes more money than me, guess what? Pamela will be my best friend if she don't give me no sex. Not some random ass chick just because she's fucking hot. That's just retarded. どうしたものだろう。最終予選に勝てば、いよいよ準決勝に進めるというのに。スーパー忍者になれって私は黒影様に託された。知っています。四季さんは寝る間も惜しんで語学の勉強をしていましたから。うん。それで海外の忍び学校とやり取りをしていたら私のことを認めてくれたみたいなの。四季どうしたらいいかわからなくなっちゃった。私、私、全然わからないよ。どれだけ考えても答えがわからない。だってみんなと夢のどっちかなんて私は選べないもん。ねえ、ゆみち。お願い。教えて。しきさん。
いっちゃうよは我らが立つやるぞ。死んでいるのです。四季の実になって、四季と同じように。我らも四季の実になって考えよう。たとえそれが苦しく、答えの出ない悩みだとしても、我らは仲間なのだから。
本当にごめん私のせいで悩ませちゃってるよねいません仲間のことで悩ますのいつ悩むというのですか。ありがとう。ありがとうだなんて。私はまだ、四季さんに何も言えていないのですから。それでもありがとうだよ。ユミチンにもみんなにも。だって。こうやって一緒に悩んでくれるんだからさそんなみんながいてくれて私本当に幸せだよ四季さんよく来たそれが気になるか
もう準決勝だねやっぱり決戦はすごいよここまで勝ち進んでこれたんだからさそうですね検討していると思いますとりあえず私のことはいいからさ優勝するまでは試合に集中しようよせっかくここまで来れたんだもんその通りだ決戦ガールズたち君たちの実力はリアルだね疑いようもないよ悩み苦しみ傷つきそれでもあなたたちはここまでやってきた本当によく頑張ったわねでもね本当と言うと今みのりたちは PBS どころじゃないのあやぱう君たちがなぜ悩んでいるのかは知っているしっかりと聞き耳を立てていたからねだがそれは立ち止まる理由にはならないなむしろ進むべき力になっちゃうんじゃないかい進むべき力ですかユーたちは今まで共に困難を乗り越えることで絆を強めてきたはずだ今回だって同じさ進めば絆の力はさらに強まるだからこそ困るのではないか絆が強まれば強まるほど夢を別れを選択しづらくなる確かにそうかもしれないなしかし人生とは選択の連続だこの青春の選択はユーたちにとって辛いものかもしれないでも考えてみるがいいユーたちの人生にはこれからもいろんな選択が待っているはずだもっと難しく過酷な選択が待っているかもしれないそれでも何かを選び何かを捨てて人は前に進んでいくのさわかるかい人はそれを成長と呼ぶんだ成長ハハハならばどうする私最後まで戦い抜いてちゃんと答えを出すよ前に進むためにオッケーオッケーそうと決まれば即実行さあ準決勝の始まりだなのかもちろんまだ迷ってるけどね夢を選ぶかそれともでも選ばなくちゃいけないのは分かってるからさ好きちゃん
私はちゃんと選ぶことができると思う。指揮さんがそう決めたのなら、私たちは全力で優勝を目指すのみです。頑張りましょう。最後まで。決戦の生徒たちが戦いを放棄する危険は回避されたようだなこれで大会は続く忍びのエネルギーはさらに集まることだろう私はほんの少し背中を押しただけたとえ道の先に困難が待ち構えていたとしても彼女たちなら歩み
I need you to get Abbott and これに勝てば優勝ですね。バカね、ユム。相変わらずクレイジー。すまんな、優勝するのは私たちだ。な、なんだったんだろう、今の。ね。ね、ノリチン。優勝<笑> <笑>我慢できるかな。で、
優勝して強くなるんだもんそうだな我らも強くならねばな四季よ我は面を外した状態でお前の決意を受け止めようえいいよムラッチそんな無理しなくて四季あなたがどんな決断をしてもわしたちは必ずあなたを応援します月戦に残るのならばまた違う方法で四季が夢を叶えられる道を一緒に探します海外の忍び学校に行くと決めたのなら荷造りを手伝ってあげますよ四季はよく忘れ物をしますからねわしがチェックしないと安心できませんそれすごく助かっちゃうなありがとねヨザクラチン皆さんそろそろ始まるようです準備はできていますかおうでは行きましょう
私たちの優勝です皆さんやりましたねうんうんやっぱり私たちは最強のチームだよ試合をしている最中もずっと感じてたもんこんな信頼し合える仲間はさ世界中のどこを探してもいないんだろうなって四季さん B1 グランプリの間私ずっと楽しかったずっとずっと楽しかったずっとずっと楽しかったこんなに楽しい時間を過ごしてたらみんなと離れるなんてできっこないよ<笑>でも私には夢がある世界で活躍するスーパー忍者になるっていう夢がだから私は私は私はしきちゃんの決断やいかに続きは CM の後でドンメッセージミスター K さんさすがに怒りますよそうですね絶秘伝忍法を叩き込みましょう,う私だって君たちの邪魔はしたくないだけど運営からの指示で仕方がなかったのさどういうことなのですか四塾月戦女学館のみんな優勝おめでとうだが君たちにはもう一戦戦ってもらう相手はこの私とこのミスあるよ私は別に戦ってもいいかなみんなとの思い出がもう一つ作れるしさ確かにそうですねならばお相手いたしましょう Mr.K あなた方と戦うのは了承しましたしかしその前にお聞きしたいことがあります君のことは何でも分かってるさ PBS の真の目的についてだねこの知りたがりちゃんめ優勝したら教えてくれるとの約束でした聞かせてもらえますよねオーケーオーケーそれじゃあちゃちゃっと説明しよう忍びの素質あるものが水着姿でビッチョビッチョ水鉄砲を片手にグッチョグッチョそんなビチョグチョッコたちが戦えばこの地に集まる忍びのエネルギーそれが PBS の真の目的なのよね忍びのエネルギーを集めるのが目的なぜそんなことが必要なのですか真の復活を遅らせるため少なくとも私はそう聞いているそそんな大事なことはこんなふざけた大会でやっていたのですかだってせっかくなら楽しい方がいいじゃない君たち普段は過酷な修行したんだから思い出作りって大切でしょ私たち二人からあなたたちへのラブピースの気持ちよ受け取ってちょうだいね<笑>確かに楽しい思い出にはなったよねでも残念ながら
忍びのエネルギーが超ち足りないのさだから君たちと私たちが戦うってわけそういう理由があるのならばこちらも真剣に戦わなくてはならないなそうそう本気でかかってきなよ私たちも超本気でやっちゃうからさだってこれは私とミスター系の素敵な思い出にもなるんだから<笑>では早速参りましょうかねっきさんうんやろうやろう私たち決戦の力を解くとこらあれいくぜジェットケーキいくわよジェットパーティーだええパーティーの料理はわしが腕を振るいます<笑>楽しみ
最後の戦いも勝利しましたこれが決戦の力ですどうやら忍びのエネルギーも十分この地に集まったようだな世界は救われたはず。あなたたちは本当にいいチームねたとえこの先別れることがあったとしてもその絆が消えることはないわ。
ねみのりちでもね今すぐ行くってわけじゃないよいろいろと準備も必要だしさっていうか月線の卒業後に行く可能性もあるし卒業後でもお別れはお別れだもん海外じゃ遠くてすぐに会えないじゃんでも応援するけどうん<笑>明日から早速語学の勉強をしましょういつでも会いに行けるようにオッケーというかさ今すぐに行けない理由はまだみんなとやり残してることがあるからなんだよね。決まってるでしょ優勝パーティーまだやってないじゃん<笑>そうでしたねだからさ帰ろうよ私たちの決戦にそれでド派手なパーティータイムと行こうようんそうですねデカ盛りはわしに任せてくださいそれではみんなで思い切り楽しみましょう。このお兄さん。これがいいの。これがいいの。やっ。
ありがとう。これがいいのはいありがとうこれがいいのはいありがとうこれがいいのはいありがとうこれがいいのはいありがとうこれがいいのはいありがとうみやびの頼みなら仕方がないね。これがいいのか
選んでくれるかここは任せた<笑>こちらからお選びください。